welcome back to my channel my name is destiny if you're new go ahead and click that follow button i make new videos post them every week on wednesdays sometimes maybe i'll start sprinkling them in on other days but for right now we're we're set on wednesdays so today is fun because it's actually my first how to video so very highly requested video on how to do your nails so i do my own SNS nails. Um, I already had a gel kit, like gel polish kit with like the UV light, um, and I have had that for like three years now. And I was always doing that because there was just no way I was gonna go to the nail salon and spend that much money on gel polish. I was like, it's literally paint, like no. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna get into SNS because. I, uh, I want tips on my nails or whatever um so but then going to get that still costs like $70 a week especially in Miami like is literally it's ridiculous it's so much money actually I'm gonna do the math right now because you will save so much money a year like if you go two times a month like every two weeks and it costs so like it costs seventy dollars in Miami, like some places in Atlanta, like fifty. So let's just say sixty is the average. Sixty times two obviously is one twenty, duh. Um, so that's one hundred twenty dollars a month times twelve. You're spending fourteen hundred and forty dollars a year on your nails. You can buy this kit. I spent my investment in all of this so far is at like a hundred it's not like two hundred dollars now but i have a lot of colors because i'm like obsessed with like getting new colors um so but still two hundred dollars for you to like first the biggest plus for me actually is just not going to the nail salon because sometimes i don't have time like by the time i get done with like my clinicals or school and everything i don't have time to rush to the nail salon like i need to just do it here I, I get done with my homework i'm like okay i'm gonna stay up all night and do my nails fine that's my prerogative i can do that so these are a couple of the things if you want to do tips i'm not doing tips today because um i am in my clinical and um they're not allowed so um i'm doing just my natural nails i already soaked off um my previous color i had red so i had to make sure i really soaked that off because um yeah red is relentless like it stays like no matter what and you can like see through it so I made sure to really soak that off but if you want to do tips easy just get that I mean get like a pack of nails and um yeah glue them on <laughs> and self-explanatory um and then um but I can do a separate video for that probably I could do that like December my birthday because that's when I'll be doing my clinical so yeah um, but for right now I will show you guys how to do it on your natural nail um, I just cut mine down because I had them um, they were short the last set I did but of course it was two weeks so they grew out some so I cut them down a little bit um, but this is some of the stuff like I have so many colors you can order stuff on Amazon I've seen them um, This is, I have this color. You really can't even, is this what the YouTubers do? I don't know. Okay, well, it's orange. Um, so this is the Big Daddy that I love. It's the Focus. I mean, you really wouldn't be able to see it anyways. It's white writing on a white bottle. So it's the OPI Powder Perfect Perfection um in funny bunny and like this is my favorite it's like my holy grail nail color i love it um so that's so why i got it in the biggest bottle because i love it and i have um the two dip powders that i have are opi and then true dip colors um and it's really just your preference like because both of these i t i swear to you are the exact same like the quality is the exact same um, my nails last the same amount they look just as good as the OPI um, and this was just like four dollars cheaper per bottle than the OPI um, so it just depends on what colors I want really depending on what they have so um, 
yeah and with the opi it is easy because the colors like are the same so like if you get the funny bunny in the sns powder then you can get the funny bunny in the nail polish and then do your toes so you have like a matching polish for your toes so let's get into it what you will need i also have um this electric nail file um i got this on amazon it was like 11 dollars um, I would say first time trying out, just stick to like, um, just like a pink buffer. I did that my first time and I'm telling you it was just fine. Like they look just as good because this is intense. Like you can really like scratch up your nails and stuff. So just remember that. Uh, but it comes in handy when you like really get into it and you're like shaping and stuff. So I went ahead and invested in it and um i like it so you need the set i first started out with the opi set um and it was fine like i said it does the same thing i got this quick dip set by asp at sally's um and it does the exact same thing as the opi so like literally just get a kit anywhere like amazon sally's your local beauty supply store i don't know i got i get a lot of my stuff from this nail supply store in miami um, that I'm not going to shout out because I don't really know if they're supposed to be selling stuff to non-licensed people. So, I'm not trying to bite the hand that feeds me, but yeah. Uh, maybe a nail supply store you can check out and they will have stuff like that for you. But like I said, you can get any of this stuff online. So, I've seen it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, this is the bond, the pH bond liquid. Put this on after you like buff your nails and get them like completely ready to like do the SNS because it helps it um you know stick to your nail and last longer um but yeah so you just need the um nail base and top gel so this is what you put on and then the activator um yeah and then they have a top coat like this is a um this is a top gel too but I put my um I use my clear gel polish gel polish and like the uv lamp and just like do that because i like it it's really shiny so i just do that so let's get into it first thing i already um shaped them exactly how i want them and it's basically just like square and then i just like kind of make them like skinny and do like a um like a coffin shape so like a mini coffin shape because i mean they're short but i still like my nose to look like really skinny so really skinny and really square is what I prefer so yeah the next step I'm gonna do is push my cuticles back and make sure um, I get all of that because that is what I found to be the number one reason you will get lifting on your nails so you have to make sure you push your cuticles back and like I clip them with like um, a cuticle cutter so I have like that and um, this pushback thing is kind of like it um, there we go it's like this little scooper thing that I'll just push on my nails so yeah okay so I'm gonna do that yeah so I kind of just So I push back the cuticles just as far, like you'll see the cuticles poking out. So you kind of just like you push that little clear thing back and it's not painful. If it's painful, then you're like actually hurting your skin, but you literally just push it back. on each one so I'll go through and do that okay so I am back I just went through and um, cleaned up my cuticles and did all of that so this is how they look I've literally never shown anyone my nails looking this crazy but that is how they look like that and I'm not gonna go like wash them or like put alcohol or anything on them um, what is that oh my hair okay so, um, 
I'm going to go in with the easy easy flow um a uh, easy bond and just put that on each nail and i want to let you know if you have a cut this hurts <laughs> so try not to cut yourself because it hurts like this is a part of the nail salon where you know they nicked you because they put this stuff on and boy does it burn so since I'm doing my own nails, I usually do a whole hand first and then like completely through besides the top coat. I'll go in and put all the SNS part on first and then um, go to the other hand. It's just easier than trying to do both um, at the same time. So then I can go in with my um, the nail base part. Um, and so this part is the most important part, okay? You have to make sure you apply this evenly and really well. You wanna make sure you do that. Um, okay, so you apply it. Also, when you put it on, go from like right here, like mid um, nail and up for the first layer. And then the second layer, go in with the full um, a full coat of the nail. This gives that gives you like that natural nail curve look, um, so that you just don't have like layers and layers built, looking crazy. Yeah, so I just did that part, and I dip it straight in. Tap. I'm going to go through and do all of them like that. That first coat on all of the nails and you just take a brush this is literally a makeup brush okay and so then you just take it and you just lightly brush it all off just getting the excess powder off and off the back of your nails too and then you go in for the second coat and remember the second coat is the full um, nail <laughs> Like some nail salons will do like two coats of SNS. Um, I do three because once um, one so that the color can just be really vibrant and nice, but also so that when I get to like fouling and shaping it to be really smooth, that it is, um, you know, like still thick and vibrant and pretty. So I just do three. Um, and plus, it's just me using this one whole bottle so it's not like I'm preserving it for a whole salon to use so I don't have to go cheap on myself Third coat done. 
um, I will tap this off. Before I go in to um, shape them and file them, I use um, the activator. And I love this stuff because it's like instantly dry. As soon as you like dip it, it's like boom, hard. So um, I go in with the activator and there's really no precision to this. Like it's just like the consistency of water. Um, but this will also burn if you have a cut, so do not cut yourself. Um, and you just put it on. I don't really know what it does, but that's what you're supposed to do. So I do it. Okay. And so now you can go in and shape. I usually shape with um, these like white files they're just like really rough I don't know because I think nail files have like codes to them or like numbers to tell you like the thickness and like the coarseness of it um but these don't but they're white and that's all I pretty much know about them but um so you just go in I start on like the sides and just shape them up. Now I'm going in with the um, shaper, I mean the e-file for a shaper and is my yeah, it comes with like all these heads. There's even some more heads, but like um, I don't use those, so I just keep the ones that I had do use in this convenient little carrying case thing, and I stick it in. And so this one, it looks like it's like nothing, but it's very strong. So like the easiest ones are like these little um, emery board ones, and like they don't hurt at all. Like I just I can be rough with those. But this one is like a smoother, but it's also really strong. So be careful. And I'm just going to go around the edges with it. And be very careful because you will nick yourself. <laughs> so... just finished um, shaping with the e-file and now I'm going to go in with this buffer they're both the same oh they have numbers on this one 20301 um, and I just go on top and file this one still has red stuff on it I just go on top and buffer to give it a smooth surface <laughs> to do the other hand and be right back <laughs> okay so all nails are now done and buffed and completely the way I like them so I am now going to just do the top coat but first um, go wash your hands after you finish shaping buffing all this stuff actually no I'm supposed to put another app well now, I don't do the gel activator after because I do the top coat. But if you're going to follow the traditional, I mean, I do the gel top coat with the UV light. So if you're going to follow the traditional like SNS dip powder instructions, you would do the gel, the activator again. And then you would put the top gel on and just like wait two minutes and let it dry or whatever. 
but I'm gonna do the gel polish so I'm gonna go wash my hands um, and that's why it looks so ashy right now but it's just the dust and everything so you want to wash your hands and dry them completely with a paper towel and I'll be right okay so I am back nails are washed um, I have this gel -Aze, and that's by um, China um, China glaze that's their like gel line can, there we go you can totally get this from um, Sally's is where I got it from and I have my OPI um, my OPI gel UV lamp so just plug that up it's very simple it's only one hand at a time so and this is really cool because this is a really good UV lamp and I got it at Sally's it was on clearance like 50% off and I had like another 25% off like beauty member thing so I got this thing for so cheap and I've been using it ever since so just look out for the sales and this stuff is just so worth it so I just take this and put that on as normal it's like you're painting a regular nail with clear top coat try to stay on the nail so it doesn't get onto the skin because then you're gonna have to like file it off and I always get the top and like the back of my nail because it helps from it it helps to make it not peel and then you just put it in for um, 30 seconds which is an automatic timer and I do the fur the four fingers like these first because it gets hard trying to twist your hand to get the thumb so I just do the four and then um, I'll paint the thumb and then go in like that with the thumb I usually go in just for like another one because you know I just want to make sure it's good real good is all done and for gel polish like you're gonna touch it and be like okay the timer went off so it must be done you will touch it and it will feel gooey and you'll be like oh crap I messed it up but no that's just like the oil or something that comes off of it and all you have to do is take some oil like this came with like the gel kit but it's just alcohol so you just get rubbing alcohol and spray it on a um, on a cotton ball and wipe that sucker down there we go this hand's done i'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other hand and be right back <laughs> okay guys this is the final look and <laughs> you can't really tell but they were so easy um the time it was officially an hour to do it not bad take an hour save some money do it yourself be a boss and save a bunch of money. I mean, it's like a win-win. And everyone loves a good Snow White look. It's just super clean and super easy. So let me give you a close-up because these are not really showing up. Look at that. Look at that. Like, is it showing? Oh, there it's showing. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to put some rings on this hand and it's going to be looking good. So, I mean, so easy, so clean, and so easy. I mean, as they came out so good, I mean, I'm just giddy over the fact that they came out so good and that everyone can do this and you can save so much money. And this is it, guys. So comment if you like these nails. If you want me to do, I have so many other colors. Um... And I'm thinking I'm going to try French tip next because a lot of people like the French tip. Um, so I might try that. But like all designs and stuff in the past, so just comment down below what you want me to try next. And I'll post um, a video attempting to do it. So um, this is a simple one that everyone can do that like works or has to be like professional. Or even if you're just a classy girl like me, 
this is your go-to. So like this video, comment down below, subscribe, subscribe to your girl. And share, share this video to all your friends. We're trying to have the whole team eat, why not? So that's it guys, I'm signing off until next time. Love you lots and see ya.